Welcome back. In this video, I add the second and third layers of the chime, and I get things pretty well fared so that in the next video, I can add the chime top rail. And as you can see, Temptress is getting pretty sturdy at this point. We start by comparing the model to the actual build in an overhead montage. Let's get to work. After installing the first chine laminate, I took a belt sander to the top of it to remove any excess epoxy. Then I coated the plywood components with unthickened epoxy. I spread the epoxy with the smallest notches on the West System spreader. The process for the port side chine is the exact same, only with different music. As I showed at the intro of this video, after the epoxy cures, I trim off the excess chine with a flush router bit. As with the first two layers of the chine, 
the third laminate starts with a dry fit. Similar to layers one and layers two, the chine overlaps with the transom. Here you can see the intersection of the parts in the 3D model. But on layer three, I decided to remove material from the transom rather than the chine laminate. For the remainder of this video, I install the third layer of the chine laminate with an aerial view. Because the epoxy soaks into the plywood, I typically add a second coat of unthickened epoxy. And now I bond the final chine laminate.
Trimming and fairing the chines turned out to be the most challenging step. Fun fact, I broke two of these bits while I was routing chines two and three, and it will take some cleanup with the sander to fix this. At the front of the boat, the stem got in the way of the router, so I couldn't flush route to the top chine rail, so I used a saw to clean it up much of the way. Then, I used a power planer to get the chine laminates close to the shape to align with the chine top rail. I finished up the chines with a belt sander, but to ensure that I didn't sand the chine top rail, I marked the bottom edge with a pencil. Then I belt sanded the chines parallel to the chine top rail, being careful not to remove the black pencil mark. As we finish, let's take a few last looks at the completed chines. Till next time, cheers.